The welterweight division is being put on notice. There is a new wave of young talent coming in to challenge those who have been at the top for the past few years. And if they don't look closely, this young talent may pass them by. Let's talk about it. What's good YouTube? This is Stormy B-Man back with another video editorial. Before we get started, allow me to say shout out to the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. The title of this editorial, Nowhere to Run To nowhere no way to hide it's just like the old song that was so popular you know boxing is a lot like music and music is a lot like boxing how it flows in and out of our lives we cannot deny the love that we have for our favorite sport and pastime this editorial focuses on the near future what's going to happen, particularly in boxing and the welterweight division of boxing. We have three young studs that are coming up and they are going to be making waves in the sport very soon as the old guard that has pitied about at the top of the divisions, guys not facing one another, not looking to become undisputed not looking to give the fans what they want to see and they're giving these young guns a chance to develop. We're talking about fighters who are in their early 20s. Two of them that are 23 years old and one is 24 and the son of a former world champion himself. Those three fighters would be Virgil Ortiz, Jerron Boots Ennis, and Connor Ben out of the UK. These three fighters just in the past couple of months have shown us some excitement and what we have to look forward to as the division moves forward after the dust settles at the top. In Connor Ben, what we have seen out of him in his most recent, recent outing is that he is an aggressive fighter. Okay, Connor, the elder statesman of the three, is currently 18 and 0 with 12 KOs and goes under the moniker The Destroyer. His dad was Nigel Ben, the Dark Destroyer. His recent victory over Samuel Vargas, which was in April of this year, 2021, saw him with a stunning first round victory. This is the type of fighter that people want to see. A crowd-pleasing, aggressive guy. Yes, Connor may not be as skilled as a couple of the other guys on this list, but he's still exciting all the same, and he's coming out of a place where they know how to support their fighters. They will get behind their fighters, and they will showcase him. They will support him all the way. We've seen this with Ricky Hatton. We've seen it with Frank Bruno and Anthony Joshua. We have seen the UK get behind their fighters in a way that the US can actually learn a lesson or two. And this is the other thing about it. By being so young and also aggressive, this will put them in a position where promoters, television, they will want to showcase the young man, okay? And you have to admit, that's what excites the crowds. 
he recently started calling out the likes of Sean Porter and Amir Khan, which is kind of laughable because you would think that he would go for some of the more meteor names. But then again, coming from the UK, it's a slow burn. So there's nothing wrong with that when it comes down to how Connor is going about it. I can't blame it. The second guy we have on that list, Virgil Ortiz Jr. This young man, 23 years old, has a record of 17 and 0 with 17 KOs. Yes, he is coming out of Dallas, Texas, and he has a huge following. Texas is as big as the UK, right? This is the type of fighter that people are chomping at the bit to see. And we should be excited because with that Latin base that he has following him and his aggressive style, we see him doing some tremendous things. He is coming off of a March victory this year, 2021, over Maurice Hooker in a seventh round TKO stoppage that saw him battled for the first time where he was being somewhat challenged. But Ortiz sucked it up, went out there, made some adjustments, and pulled a victory out. Maurice Hooker fought the type of fight that people kind of knew he was going to do it, but he was a little bit more successful than people even thought. But that's okay. Both fighters being young, this is the opportunity for Virgil to show that he can grow and learn from the struggle that he had somewhat with Hooker. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with a fighter having a little bit of vulnerability. It's all a part of the process. And I love it when fighters can work through this and show that they can improve and step up to another level. This is what we need in the sport. And again, you have to love it that the guys are so young and they are really chomping and biting at the heels of the elder statesmen that are just above them at the championship levels. These men that I'm speaking of this evening, they may be within the next year and a half to two years, be right there at the championship level themselves. This is how good they are. Now, let's not forget the third party of here who may be the most exciting out of the three, Jerron Boots Ennis, who has a stunning record of 27 and 0, 25 KOs. And it has been said, even by myself, that he has Roy Jones-like talent, where we see him utilizing hand and foot speed and the ability to run off combinations that you haven't seen in a long time. Ennis is also coming off of a recent victory in April of this year, 2021, against Sergei Lipinets, where people thought that Lipinets was going to be enough of a challenge to really test to see where Boots is. No one thought that he would lose to Lipinets, but they thought that the challenge would be stern. And there's nothing wrong with that. We want to see our young guns challenged. We want to be, we want to see if they can persevere. And boy, the Boots Ennis put on a show. He did not disappoint. He was able to stop the Lippinets with a clear KO in the sixth round. We saw him utilize foot speed, hand speed, defense, and power all at the same time. This fighter right here may be the cream of this crop, but you never know because in boxing, one punch on the chin can change a lot of things. And sometimes even the most shiniest of the coins may not have that same value that you may have thought going in. Am I putting Boots in this down? Absolutely not. He is a five star candidate for being a champion, but I'm just stating that this is what you see when you have prospects and guys who are looking and touted as the next great thing. The three of these men fighting within the past couple of months gave us a chance to see what's new and fresh at the welterweight division. And I think it's 
great. I look forward to these men and their paths crossing sooner or later and that those that they may have to step up to fight to earn their places in the sport. It's exciting, an exciting time for the welterweight division. And with so many titles available out there, who knows who's gonna become a champion first, but we should all be tuned in and dialed in and ready to see these men perform. And when Connor realizes that coming over here to the Western side of the world and fighting the name fighters over here will be tremendously beneficial to him, his star will ascend even greater heights. Virgil has to also make certain that he stays on the winning side of things and make sure that he fights the proper fights because there are gonna be tougher opponents out there than Maurice Hooker. And Ennis needs to just wait his turn because I do believe that out of the three, he's definitely the champion in the making. He's like the unseated guy, the guy you're just waiting to be sized up for his crown. But it's gonna be a great next couple of years when you look at these three men and what they're capable of doing. Connor Ben with his aggressive style, just like his dad, a chip off the old block. We'll find out if he can carry his power to that next level when he fights the top opposition. But he's definitely a strong guy in great condition, highly motivated, and like I said, he's his dad's son. Virgil Ortiz, let's see him work at fighting against boxers, guys who are gonna pick their feet up, and who are gonna move and not just stand with him. We'll see how he handles that. And then we'll know exactly what he has to offer. He's a tremendous body puncher, he's very aggressive, and he seems to be able to step it up. All what we look for from young fighters. And then again, Ennis, as I just stated, is a man that is, is on that mission and he could possibly press any of the champs right now. This is what you would like to see. Let me know what you think about all of this and about these men in the welterweight division who appear to be the gems of the future. This is Stormy B-Man. That's all I have for you at this time. Leave comments and until the next time we meet, peace and be safe.